How can I make a picture graph to represent the data in this tally chart? In this lesson, you will learn how to create a picture graph by organizing data and creating a key, title, and labels. Let's review. Graphs are tools that we use to show information or data we collect. Information or data can be answers to a question or a collection of similar objects or ideas. Graphs have a title. This one is called Favorite Ice Cream Flavors. It has three labeled categories, chocolate, vanilla, and cookie dough. And it has a key. This key shows one cone equals one. The key tells the quantity or how many of each the symbol represents. So for example, in this graph, there are two cones in the column labeled vanilla. So we know that our, there are two people that chose vanilla as their favorite flavor. You've probably seen picture graphs similar to this one that use a different symbol for each category. In this lesson, we will be thinking about creating picture graphs that use the same symbol for each category. It is important to know that in these picture graphs, we want to use the same symbol for every category on the graph. For example, this graph has the same information, but unlike the first example, the symbols are all the same. We know that chocolate has three votes because it has three cones. The category label tells us the flavor, and the cone symbol tells us how many in each. Here's our tally chart again, and once we have our data or information gathered and recorded, we can use this to make a picture graph. In this tally group of football players, we see that there's seven people that play football from our class, five people play basketball, and four people play soccer. We can take this information and turn it into a picture graph. We're going to have a title, and our title for this is called Sports Our Class Plays. We're going to use a horizontal chart with our labels of football, basketball, and soccer. Our key is important and it shows each jersey represents one player. And if we remember from our tally chart, we have seven people that play football. There were six people, or excuse me, five people that played basketball and four people that played soccer. So our picture graph has the title, it has our labels or category headings, it has a key, and it has our information. And I can tell by looking at this graph that football is the most popular sport played by people in our class because it has the most votes. Tally charts help gather information or data. You asked another question of your classmates. This time you wanted to know their favorite subject in school. Was it social studies, science, reading, or math? Two people voted for social studies. Five people voted for science. Four people said reading was their favorite. And six people said math was their favorite. Again, we can take information from this tally chart to create a picture graph keeping in mind the important things that we have to have in every picture graph. We need a title. We need a table with category labels. This time our table is going to be vertical. It will go up and down. We see that we have social studies, science, reading, and math, just like on our tally chart. And of course the key, each book means one vote. two people for social studies, five people for science, four people voted for reading, and the most popular was math with six votes. And the least popular was social studies with two votes. Remember, picture graphs should have a title, 
a key, information, and labels. In this lesson, you have learned how to create a picture graph by organizing data and creating a key, title, and labels.